Welcome everyone. Here we are going to present a paper titled XRD and EDS analysis of age hardened 2219 aluminium alloys microalloyed with cadmium. Authored by myself, Dr. Sanjeev Banerjee and Mr. Sanjeev Gogoi from Department of Mechanical Engineering, Tejpur University. 2219 aluminium alloys is one of the 2000 series aluminium alloys which have extensive applications in space, aircraft, automobile and marine. Here we can see the standard chemical composition of 2219 aluminium alloys. Regarding microalloying, recent trend in alloy development is microalloying where content should be less than 0.1 weight percent with trace elements in order to achieve higher strength combined with reasonable toughness and maintaining lower density. The reason behind microalloying is that it permits addition of trace elements although of higher density but with lower content and these trace elements even at lower concentrations may considerably influence the microstructural evolution and enhance the overall mechanical properties but without compromising the material weight. Precipitation hardening heat treatment has two separate stages that is the solution heat treatment and the precipitation heat treatment as shown in this figure and the strengthening mechanism is by the restriction to dislocation motion by the formation of finely dispersed second phase precipitates within the alloy matrix. In the present work 2219 aluminium copper alloys were processed by standard casting technique. The alloys were microalloyed with varying contents of cadmium and the cadmium contents in the alloys varied from 0 to 0.1 weight percent as shown in this table. XRD analysis was performed to detect the different crystallographic phases evolved after the age hardening treatment. Here in this figure we can observe the XRD patterns of aged and water quenched alloy A that is the base 2219 aluminium alloy then alloy D that is with 0.06 weight percent of cadmium and alloy F that is with 0.1 weight percent of cadmium. From the XRD patterns we can detect primarily aluminium which is the matrix phase along with CUL2 or the theta phase. Now the lattice parameters of these crystallographic phases could be detected from the XRD analysis. Here we can observe the ACM micrographs of the age hardened alloy A which is the base 2219 aluminium alloy then alloy D and alloy F showing the grain boundary phases. From these ACM micrographs we can observe two different phases along the grain boundaries which are indicated by phase A and phase B. Now phase A is an uniform phase along the grain boundary region and which is chemically detected as CUL2 or theta phase by the EDS analysis. On the other hand phase B has a blocky structure which has segregated along the grain boundaries and specially at the triple points and which is chemically detected as an intermetallic phase. Now from the quantitative analysis we can observe that the volume fraction of phase A that is the CUL2 or the theta phase along the grain boundaries increased with increase in cadmium contents up to 0.06 weight percent that is at alloy D which indicates that cadmium content of 0.06 weight percent favored the precipitation reaction. EDS analysis was performed to detect the chemical composition of the different microstructural phases as observed under ACM. Here we can observe the EDS spectra for the matrix then phase A and phase B of the age hardened alloy A 
which is the base 2219 aluminum alloy. From the EDS spectra, we can observe that matrix contains primarily the aluminum. Then the phase A, which is the uniform phase along the grain boundaries, is primarily CUL2 or theta phase and phase B which has a blocky structure along the grain boundaries and triple points is basically an intermetallic phase which can be observed from this EDS spectra. These are the few references regarding the present work. Thank you.